Fundamentally, people now are using multiple devices, multiple computers, laptops, netbooks. It's a connected world. You know, you've got fast access to the internet and you want your data to be available anywhere and on any device. And that's what LiveDrive does. We already go much further than the competition in that we store your data on multiple servers in multiple data centers. But what we really wanted to do is, is give that extra level of protection. Barcode Backup is the result of years and years of hard work by myself and our engineering team. We wanted to do something completely different. So for the first time, I'm going to show you our facility. It has its own backup power plant and even its own water making facilities. Not only are we storing their data on our systems, we're also actually printing it off. Every single business process here we've had to look at with a view to automating it, making it efficient, making it practical. Many other people have thought about this sort of thing, but we, I believe, are the only people that have actually pulled it off in a real environment. This is where the paper arrives at the facility. We take delivery of approximately 2,000 reels of paper a day. Since we've started backing up onto barcodes, we've become Europe's largest buyer of paper. We're very conscious of our carbon footprint and we're very conscious of the environment. That's why for every tree of paper that we use, we plant two trees. Previous uh, data storage on barcodes would give you around about three kilobytes of data per code. What we're looking at today is around about six kilobytes. So this is where it all happens. This machine behind me is responsible for printing the barcodes onto the paper. We have about 200 machines like this in the facility, capable between them of printing about 20 terabytes of data every half an hour. One A2 sheet of paper can hold 368 barcodes. Presently we're running at about eight petabytes at Live Drive. That means that if you were to print all of that onto paper, which we're doing at the moment, that's four billion sheets of paper, which we are printing and storing here. When it comes to something as important as backing up your data, sometimes the simplest way is the best way. Now we've got lots of fancy technology, just like everybody else, but paper's been around for a long time and it works. And we thought it's about time it made a comeback.